Hello and welcome to a new chapter of mathematics on integrals. Today we shall be starting with discussing about integration as the reverse of differentiation. Later we are going to perform integration by the method of substitution. And finally we are going to deal up with some numerical problems that would be based on integration by substitution. So starting with integration. Integration is the reverse process to that of differentiation. By differentiation we find the derivative of the given function whereas by integration we find the function whose derivative is known. This function is known as integral of the given function. Now we are going to consider an example in which derivative of x cubed by 3 with respect to x is found to be x square. Therefore the integral of x square is x cubed by 3 and it is written as integral of x square dx is equal to x cubed by 3 where this sign denotes the integral and integral of x square dx is read as the integral of x square with respect to x. Next we are going to find out that whether the integration of a function is unique and definite or not. For this we are going to consider an exam example in which we differentiate x cubed by 3 plus c with respect to x and thus we get the result as x square. Now here c is any constant. This implies that the integration of x square with respect to x is equal to x cubed by 3 plus c. Now comparing equation number a and b we observe that the integral of x square with respect to x is not unique and this applies to the integral of every function. Since the integral of any function is not definite therefore it is known as indefinite integrals. When the given function cannot be integrated directly by using a standard formula then we use other methods which include integration by substitution. Now in this method the variable x in integral of fx with respect to dx is changed into another variable let's say t so that the integrand fx is changed into ft which is easily integrable. For example if we need to evaluate the integral of x cos x squared with respect to dx we notice that differentiation of x square with respect to dx gives us 2x. Therefore, we make substitution of x square equal to t. This gives us 2x dx equal to dt. This implies x dx is equal to 1 by 2 dt. Therefore, integral of cos x square dx is equal to 1 by 2 integral of cos t dt which is equal to 1 by 2 sin t plus c which is equal to by substitution of t equal to x square 1 by 2 sin x square plus c. Now while performing the method of substitution we are supposed to note that when evaluating the definite integral of the form with the limits as a to b integral of fx dx the limits of integration must also get changed. This type of integration would be dealt up in the coming segments of integrals. Next we are going to deal with some numerical problems. Now here we are supposed to evaluate the integral of sec square ax plus b with respect to dx. For this we are going to use the method of substitution that we have discussed in this lecture by substituting ax plus b equal to t we have a dx equal to dt therefore dx is equal to 1 by a dt thus integral of sec square ax plus b dx is given as 1 by a integral of sec square t 
since we have put ax plus b equal to t as in equation number 1 dt. Now here dx has been substituted by 1 by a dt as in equation number 2. Thus we have integral of sec square ax plus b dx equal to 1 by a sec square t dt. This can be integrated and we have the result as 1 by a 10 t plus c where integral of sec square t is given as 10 t and c is the integration constant. Thus the integral of sec square ax plus b dx is equal to 1 by a 10 ax plus b plus c which is obtained by the method of substitution. Next we have another problem in which we are supposed to evaluate the integral of 10x by sec x plus cos x with respect to dx. Here we are going to substitute the values of 10x as sin x upon cos x. Similarly sec x would be replaced as 1 by cos x. This gives us the value of the integration in equation number 1 as integral of sin x divided by 1 plus cos square x dx. This is solved by putting cos x equal to t. This gives us on differentiation minus sin x dx equal to dt. So we are going to replace sin x dx by minus dt as an equation number 2. Thus we have using equation number a and 2 the integral of 10x divided by sec x plus cos x is equal to minus integral of dt divided by 1 plus t square. Now the integration of this term is minus 10 inverse t plus c where c is the integration constant. Now we are going to replace the term t by cos x since we have substituted cos x equal to t in the earlier section of this question. Thus we have the value of minus 10 inverse t plus c equal to minus 10 inverse t is equal to cos x plus c. Thus the integral of 10x dx divided by sec x plus cos x is equal to minus 10 inverse cos x plus c. Now this value is being obtained by substituting cos x equal to t and then performing integration of the simplified term. Next we consider another problem in which we have to find the integral of dx by 1 plus ex. Now here we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by e minus x. This gives us the value of integral as specified in equation number 1 as integral of e minus x divided by e minus x into 1 plus ex dx. This is equal to integral of e minus x divided by e minus x plus 1 dx. Now here we are going to put 1 plus e minus x equal to t. That means minus e minus x dx is equal to dt. Now we are going to substitute this equation number 2 and equation number 3 in equation number
a this gives us the integral of minus dt by t which is equal to minus log of t plus c now here c is the integration constant and next we are going to substitute the value of t which is equal to 1 plus e to power minus x as is specified in equation number 2 this is equal to minus log of 1 plus e minus x plus c which can be simplified into minus log of 1 plus 1 by e x plus c this can be written in the form minus log of e x plus 1 whole divided by e x plus c this is equal to minus log of e x plus 1 plus log e x plus c which can be rewritten in the simplified form as minus log 1 plus e x plus x plus c which is the integral value of equation number 1 which was integral of dx by 1 plus e x thus the integral of dx by 1 plus e x is equal to minus log 1 plus e x plus x plus c where c is the integration constant thus we have evaluated the value of the given integral by the use of method of substitution with this we conclude the lecture on integrals which was based on the integration by the method of substitution